Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, okay, so today's a fun um, video. It's a sewing video, it's a creative video. Uh, we have had a spotlight store open up just around the corner from us. Um, it was grand opening the other day, which we filmed, and you'll get to see that in a second. But it's very exciting for us, especially being you know, like creative people, because, I mean, we do have a little place called Remnants Warehouse, which is on Botany Road, and that's like a, that, that's got stuff. It's got fabric, and it's got haberdashery, and it's got like, you know, things you need, but, you know, it's only a small sort of boutique uh, fabric store. So it's very sort of, you know, limited of what you can get from there. Um, and our other closest spotlights um, are either in Rockdale or Bonner Junction, which, you know, either way, it's sort of like an hour round trip kind of thing. So to have a spotlight open, literally less than five minutes away, like it's like basically on the next block, um, is really, really exciting. So we went there. Yeah, I'm going to show you the footage now of us doing our pilgrimage to the opening, the grand opening of a spotlight in Alexandria. Now, Nikita doesn't know I'm filming. Let's see what she's doing. Hello. Ah. Uh. Well, thank God I'm not filming again. Even though I am. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Pack your shit. We've got a spotlight. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. <laughs> your face and you're like, what? <laughs> I've got to wait for Nikita to finish working. Oh god. Got my emails. Forty to give percent off all fabric by the meter. I'm gonna get some. Uh, some sequin. They better get. They better have some nice sequin. Now, darling, you can't come to Spotlight, so you have to stay here, okay? You be a good girl. We won't be long. We'll probably only be like eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rise on. It's a sign. <laughs> okay, they they better have a good sequin section. If this is the only reason I'm here, well, not the only reason. I'm here for everything, but just to get out of the house. Just to get out of the house. Oh, shiny! <laughs> I love that Mariah's playing. I'm gonna use any of this footage. I see sequin over here. Guys, we've got some bad news. It's very disappointing. Okay, prepare yourself. That is the sequin section. That's it. I'm gonna get some of this. I've already got this fabric. But it ran out of stuff last year, so I'm gonna get some more because it's really pretty. Well, we got a bit of a bit of loot. Mm. I mean, we'll discuss it at length mm. back at the office. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're back from our adventure, our journey, oh our God. pilgrimage to Spotlight, the new Spotlight. Really nice, just 
get out of the house. Yeah, that it was nice to get out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> but also, look, I felt really unseen by that sequence section. It was verging on homophobia. It was basically homophobia. <laughs> <laughs> Um, look, but it's not just about the sequin. It's not. It's about having all that stuff, the access to like every one block away. Oh my god! Imagine when we run out of like you know hooks and eyes. Yeah, <laughs> hooks and eyes. <laughs> bias binding. <laughs> oh, oh, bias binding. Yeah, facts. So um, but anyway, so I did do a little. I got, I got, I got. This fabric is what my Mariah dress last year was made from, which is really beautiful. And they ran out of it last year. When we went to get more, you couldn't find it. And we had um, to make the, the whole gown out of like a, a meter and a half, <laughs> I think it was. Yeah. We managed to do it. Anyway, so it was like, I'm sure it was like $35 last year or $40. It was very expensive because I could only afford to buy one meter. Ah, you're so poor. Oh. And, um, and, and so it's gone down to 20 something dollars. But they had a sale, 40% off, so it went down to $12. So All got, apparel fabrics. $12 a metre, so I got <laughs> seven metres. I'm gonna make lots of things out of that. Yeah. Um, so that's it, that's that's our hoard. Look, it's fine. And everyone was like obviously very stressed. Mm. No one really knew where anything was. It was the first day, mm. like understandable, but like. We forgive them, but mm. you know, it's not right and it's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it was remix. Anyway, so um, I am going to make a dress out of this. Not right now. But, no. but for you guys, it will be right now. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah, put yeah, this yeah. in the same video and we'll make, I'm gonna make a little uh, a jumpsuit out of this. And I'm gonna be so skinny when we cut it. <laughs> when we're making it? What, next week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold your breath for that one. <laughs> oh, be nice to Nikita. Oh, be nice to Nikita. As I say, I'm <laughs> you baiting me <laughs> to be mean to you. Do <laughs> you get sympathy? I'm so little in my life. <laughs> Effie, we all have pain. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Okay, so um, out of that, as I said in the, in the other video, um, I did get seven meters of this beautiful iridescent sequin, which, as I said before as well, I used last year for my Mariah dress. If you remember the photo show I did for Mariah for the rocks for Christmas? And it was so gorgeous. And so it was on special and on sale. So I got... <laughs> seven meters of it which is gonna be so great because i can make lots of separates and you know iridescent is my second favorite color and it's on this sort of like velour which has got a nice well a bit of a one-way stretch so i'm going to make a, a jumpsuit um because i thought that'd be really cool like a nice little jumpsuit and of course i'll wear my crystal barbie uh belt because you know it just looks so good with iridescent right okay so i've got my pattern which i made I actually cut, oh, some shoulder pads. Um, I cut from a Camilla jumpsuit. Um, <laughs> I, I copied it, I plagiarized it. I made it in another fabric that was quite stretchy. It had, it had a lot of give in it both ways, a good four way stretch. This doesn't have as much, and I think everything will be fine except for the legs. The legs were a bit slim, so I need to extend that. I'm not gonna make a new pattern, I'm just gonna adjust it on the, on the, the fabric and hope it. You know, it works. Yeah, I'm just gonna get started. Well, I'm doing this, I'm making a new, I don't need to make a new dress at all. <laughs> I've got so many beautiful things, but uh, Maxie and I are doing mukbang on uh, <laughs> Thursday for next Saturday's video, so the next video after this. And, um, and you know, I wanted to wear my new hair, which is a Tina, which I combed up in my last video which have all sold out, by the way. That's amazing. Thanks for that, guys. That's amazing. <laughs> and uh, I should have ordered more. I should have gotten a massive, a much bigger quantity. But you, you just don't know when it comes to, like, ordering new styles or, or creating new styles. You don't know what people are going to want. And, um, and anyway, people really wanted this, so they will be back, so don't worry about that. Um, so I'm wearing that hair. I'm going to wear an iridescent jumpsuit. Not because I have to make something new, just because I want to. And it's a nice little, you know you know, a little series of, of videos. And I have kind of, I've, I've actually, oh, let me put this down, hold on. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm a beginner. I'm, an, I'm new to YouTube, so I'm just figuring out what people like. And it seems that you guys really enjoyed the Crystal Barbie series. And that was a lovely creative, you know, a journey. But this one obviously won't be as epic as that. But I'm, you know, I'm giving you a nice little creative video. 
which will hopefully just be like a fairly straightforward quick one. I'm gonna do a lot of this in fast motion because you don't need to see us or see me doing every detail. So let's get started. Okay. Oh, I'm also really excited, guys. I'm really excited because we had our beautiful little sewing machine fixed, my little my little pink simple sewing machine, um, who had had, she had served us well. She has made so many sequin gowns for me. So, so much sequin. There's so much fabul fabulousness um, that we put her in to get service. And we actually named her Alicia. I was trying to think of a name for her. And <laughs> because she's pink and she's a singer, I called her Alicia, which is Pink's real name. So I'm excited to get Alicia back out um, after her service. She's going to go like a dream, I hope. I hope she goes like the clappers. Okay, let's get started. Yes. You've tamed the voices in your head. You've put your courage to the test. Laid all your doubts to rest. Your mind is clearer than before. Your heart is full. Wanting more, your future's at the door. Give it all you got, no hesitating. You've been waiting all your life. This is your moment. Okay, hi. So I figured I might try out this little area because this is where Maxie and I are going to be doing mukbang. Um, and I thought I'd just test the sound and see how it sounds. I have been trying to buy these mics, these little lapel mics, but the website I was getting them from just isn't playing ball with me. So anyway, we probably won't have them. So I've finished the dress or the, the jumpsuit. Looks like a bit of a sack at the moment, but that's fine. Once it all goes on, it's lovely. The hardest thing was edging all the seams because I am not interested at all in having sequins scratching my body unnecessarily. I've worn too many costumes in my time that aren't bound and aren't edged properly and end up with lacerations. And you know what? We don't do that anymore. So I'm gonna put some shoulder pads in. I've got these little square ones. We did have a look at these ones which are rounded ones. They just looked a bit too Beverly Goldberg, which is fine. Love Beverly Goldberg, but that's not the, 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 the vibe we're going for. So I'm just gonna sew these together. Just tack them. And then sew them into the, the garment and then we're done. 
we'll do a little try on. Have done a couple of fittings already, but you know, there's a lot that I didn't film, like binding those edges. That was just a, well, no one needs to sit through that. The beauty about this sort of garment for me is that like in reality, like I want it to be done properly. I want it to look nice, but I'm only going to wear it a few times. <laughs> so it doesn't need to be like made super industrial strength and no one's looking on the inside. Unless Bianca Del Rio comes to my house one day and wants to go through the inside of all my garments, which I don't think that's ever going to happen, so <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, should we put her on? Definitely be a tucking situation. But that's it. Done. Ah, oh, the glamour. <laughs> yep. Heaven. Okay. guys thanks for joining me on another video it's very exciting what's oh it's a hot one it's a hot one and it does it's not lined so it feels quite um quite gross on the skin but that's fine that's fine it's the overall look that matters <laughs> no it's fine it's absolutely fine thanks for joining me now it's very exciting next video is going to be me and maxi eating <laughs> which i can't wait for <laughs> and um <laughs> Just an excuse to be pigs, which is going to be lovely. Anyway, that's on uh, Saturday. But thank you for joining me on this one. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, click the subscribe button. Um, share it, like it, comment below. Nice comments only, please. Um, and I will see you on Saturday. Okay, bye. Wigs by This is my wigs. I don't wear hair.